that Live Aid set up the concert venue. You didn't talk about that. There was even so-called white people that said, listen, this shouldn't have been set up like this. This was set up. This was a death trap the way they set it up. But no, it's all going to be on Travis Scott. And we don't give a damn. It probably was a ritualistic damn sacrifice. We don't give a damn one way or the other. But it's easy because of the hatred of the black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian man, because of the hatred against us, it's easy to blame everything on us. It's easy, man, because everybody hates you anyway. So when it's smoke clear, it's the black man's fault. He did it, he's evil. No, we are not inherently evil like you so-called white people. You white people are the evil by nature. No matter what you do, you can't be righteous to save your soul. Give me, uh, give me, uh, Ecclesiastes 1.15. Get the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 15. No matter what you do, you can't be righteous. You so-called white people, you're the children of Satan. Hell, you can tell by your music. <laughs> Satanic, man. That's all of the devil. All right, read what you got, brother. Ecclesiastes 1 and 15. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. I said, that which is crooked cannot be made straight. And Esau, the so-called white man, you've been made the devil from the beginning. You've been made the devil from day one. So how the hell can you be made righteous? How can you be made straight? All right, read it again. Which is that which is cooking, come on. Cannot be made straight. Cannot be made straight. You can't be made straight. To save your soul, you are of the devil. All right, give me that in John 8.44. Give me say John 8.44. You are of the devil. You can't be righteous to save your soul. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. What you say? Yo, come on up here, boy. Come over here, boy. Hey, come here. All right? See that? You can't stop. Even when they can't hear us, it's cutting them. The, the word is cutting them even when they can't hear us. <laughs> what the hell Esau say? Come on up here, boy. Come on up here and get rebuked by the spirit of the prophets. All right? Come on up here and get rebuked, boy. All right? Read that again. Read it again from the top, brother. John 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil. Ye are of your father the devil, Satan. Ye are of your father the devil. Come on. And the lust of your father. And the lust of your father. He will do. Do the lust of your father. Go ahead. He was a murderer from the beginning. Said Esau the devil. The so-called white man was a murderer from the beginning. Just like the spiritual demon Satan. Just like Cain that killed Abel. He was a murderer from the beginning, God. And abode not in the truth. He didn't stay in the truth. He didn't abide. He wickedness and lies and evil. See, in order for you to, to stay with the Most High, you got to separate yourself from evil. And this whole world is of evil. This whole world is of Satan. All right. And you got to come back to righteousness. Draw a statue to command. Because there is no truth in him. Because what? There's no truth in this devil, the so-called white man. His whole system is based upon us. Uh, right? Just like two weeks from now, he's going to tell you that. Check, check, check. God, just like two weeks from now. Just like two weeks from now, he's going to tell you. Native Americans and a white man sat down and they had a peaceful, friendly dinner and they called it Thanksgiving. We didn't have no peaceful dinner. 
Thanksgiving. That's a damn lie. Oh, Come on, Come on. 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 Oh, he is a liar, go ahead. And he's the father of lies. The Holy Bible. He's a liar and he's the father of lies. All this, all this, out, here. All this out here is of lies. All of Satan and lies. He's the father of lies. Test the tester, what you test the tester, what test the tester, what to test the what to what to what to test the test the test the test the test the what to test the
Say it again. What do I know about the Levites? They're one of the tribes of Israel on that side. So-called Negro is a tribe of Judah. So-called West Indian is a tribe of Benjamin. So-called Haitian is a tribe of Levi. Huh? Why are you from Haiti? Your father's so-called black man from Haiti. So then you would be from the tribe of Levi of the nation of Israel. You gotta repent and keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. You were the priests. The Levites were the priests. No, not you. Not you. Our people. Look, not you, Esau. All right. But we, the Levites, were the priests of Israel, and we gotta repent and come back to these laws because we're living in the last days. The Levites, which would be the so-called Haitians today, would be the tribe of Levi. We have to repent and come back to the knowledge of God. And y'all got to take back that priestly order like how y'all was in the ancient time. Y'all were priests of the most so y'all to come back to that order. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Holy Bible. So the so-called black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indians, we are the 12 most tribes of Israel now found. And the so-called black man from Haiti is the true Israelite of the tribe of Levi. Give me Jeremiah 4 and 1. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 1. All of our people, man, we got to return. We've been scouting and suffering as a nation of people. Like the Negro and the Spanish and Haitian all the way down to the so-called Mexican. We got to return back to our true identity and nationality. All right, so we, uh, Jeremiah 4 and 1. We got Jeremiah 4. If thou will return, O Israel. Lord said, if thou will return, O Israel, then. Say it the Lord. Say it the Lord, then. Return unto me. What do I tell us to do as a people? Return unto me. Lord said, return unto me. If thou will return, O Israel, return unto me. Be the one. Come back to be in the Lord's chosen people. Huh? Deuteronomy 33 chapter. Deuteronomy 33 and Genesis 49. In the old time, the law of Moses, that's how you know who we are today. All right, because what? They break the law. If you put them on board and you listen to our classes, you'll get that full breakdown. Get it on Deuteronomy. Get Genesis, matter of fact. Get Genesis first. Genesis 49 and start at 5. The city of the people. And you'll get Deuteronomy 33. Genesis 49. You live on two sides of the island. You're treated totally different, but you live on the same island. All right, because your brethren, that's part of the prophecy, right? Instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. So instruments of cruelty are in Simeon and Levi's habitations. You know what that means? What? Take a guess at it. Huh? What you can tell with it also, what's the stereotype of the so-called issue? Voodoo, voodoo, witchcraft, black magic, even on the so-called Dominicans, Bruharia, I mean, they call it or evil magic. So it's say instruments of cruelty are in your habitation. Good. Oh my God, from that down into their sheep. The Lord said for the rest of the tribes of Israel, they will be involved in that voodoo and black magic. They got, I mean, the, the stereotype, I say the stereotype. Simeon and Levi, when you read Genesis 33, 
They still have all the things that men in their anger for Jacob told them not to do that. And in their self-will, they did down their walls. What? And in their self-will, they did down their walls. Now, when you read that story in Genesis 33, when you go into the history, there's the same story in the 1500s on the island of Hispaniola. When the Dominicans and the Haitians got so called got together and they slew the white man. On Christmas Day, they waited until they was drunk and full and they slaughtered them. They had a, a defeat over them. Same thing they did in Genesis 33 with the Hamites, the Africans. They went until they was all circumcised and strong and they slew them and killed them. So, we wasn't always down as a people. There was times in history where we fought. We fought against our enemies. We fought against our oppressors. There was many times in history. And a lot of those times in history, they link up with stories in the Bible. That's how we know those people today are the same people from the ancient time. Good. Curse me their anger, for it was fierce. And their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob. The Lord said he was going to divide them in Jacob. When you check out Levi and Simeon, neither one of them had their own land. Levi, they had to be scattered amongst all the different tribes. And Simeon, they had to share their land with Judah. So that was a prophecy too where the Lord said he was going to divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. And spiritually, what does that mean also? A lot of times, the Haitians are like outcasts because of the stereotype on them. Especially in the earlier years when they was first coming to this country, you know the stereotypes that were said about them. And I don't deal with no Haitians, and they evil, they nasty, they dirty. But that was part of the curse that the Lord put on them, where He would divide them amongst the nation. They would be divided from their own brothers. Bobby, give me a Malachi two and one because the so-called Haitians are high position in the nation of Israel. So because you have a high position, that's like the, if you're a manager at your job, right? And you do something that you know you're not supposed to be doing, the boss going to come down hard on you. Hold on, I'm, hold on, I'm going to get you. The boss going to come down hard on you because he's going to say what? You're supposed to know better. You're a manager. How you going to do something like you don't know the job? So what happened with the so-called Haitians? You were the priests and the Levites of the Heavenly Father. So when y'all start to go off and fall and go into the black magic and the witchcraft, the Lord cursed y'all. He cursed all of us. He cursed the Negro too. When you look at the African-American, everybody hates the African-American. They stereotype them. Everything is the black man's fault. He's no, so all the tribes got curses. Don't, it's not like it's a personal thing just on the Levites. All, the tri all of us got curses. Hold on, let me read this real quick. Uh, Malachi 2 and 1. Malachi 2 verse 1. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. O ye priests, this commandment is for you. Go ahead. If ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart. The Levites were the priests of the Lord. So the Lord said, if you wouldn't hear me, and you would stop doing your priestly order and being joined to the Most High, what was going to happen? Come on. To give glory unto my name. To give glory unto the Lord's name. Go ahead. Say it, the Lord of hosts. I will even send a curse upon you. And I'm going to send a curse upon you. A lot of so-called Haitians now, they what? They into Catholicism. They into a voodoo witchcraft. No, listen. Listen. A large amount. A good amount. A good amount. We know it. That's the stereotype. The Catholic is not a stereotype. Maybe, maybe the voodoo, but not the Catholicism. Right, go ahead. And I will curse your blessing. What Lord said? And I will curse your blessing. He said he would curse the Levites' blessing, meaning when you were the top priest of the Most High and close to him. Now, everybody, first thing people say about Haitians, oh, they do voodoo. Why? Because you see the contrast? He said, listen, I'm going to take you from being my priest and the righteous, and I'm going to curse you. Everybody think you're evil and you're unsafe. Hold on, let me, let, me, let me just finish this out. Read. Yay! I have cursed them already because ye do not lay it to heart. He said he cursed them already because they did not lay it to heart. So we got to understand all the tribes of Israel was cursed in this Bible, but that's Levite's curse. Right, God. Right. Right, right, right. It's a lot of that, that, that media Were you born here? Born out there. You was born out there. Now, on the opposite side, 
Hold on, let me hold on. Let me, let me just let me just stop you right there. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there before you keep going. On the opposite side of that, we have brothers in this knowledge that are of Asian descent, and they've told us. No, it's not really a stereotype. Oh. They've told us the stories from back in 80. And, hold on, hold on, damn round, damn round, hold on. They told us the stories from back in 80 and said, no, it's not a stereotype. A lot of it is true. What we're saying is, it's not everybody. We know it's not everybody, but a lot of our people from the island of Haiti are called a bit to these things. We're not saying everybody. We're not, well, we got a contradiction here. And from the research, it shows also. What about them? We can get on them too? Right, right, right. 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 I think I think put it like this is whoever whoever is of the ratio that practices the voodoo and the brujaria, that's the ratio that lives. We know it's not all the people. We know we from the East Coast too. I'm from New York. I know many Haitians. I know many Dominicans. And I know a lot of them that tell me that tell me the truth. Say it again. Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? I know I know from East New York, Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? This brother's from the Bronx. So we from the East Coast too. So I know many of this brother from the Bronx too. I know many of our our uh Fort Green. Fort Green, right. We we know many of our our uh uh right. Yeah, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't got nothing but New York out here, right? right you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Oh, you from Boston. Okay, kind. All right. Yeah, Boston too. But me personally, even before I came into this knowledge, I knew personally. I grew up in East New York, but I had a lot of Dominicans and Haitians I ran with. And a lot of them said it was true. Then a lot of them said, yo, it's not all of us, though. My family's not like that. But we know a lot of Haitians that are like that. Hold on. I had a lot of Dominicans tell me, yo, my family's not like that, but we know a lot of Dominicans that do. So when we say a lot of, don't take that as, oh, just everybody or the majority. It's just a large portion to where it would be a heavy curse amongst our people. If the shit don't fit, don't, they don't, it's not, for, if they're not doing it, they're not doing it. But we know from testimony that these things are true amongst our people. Let me say this. Now, this shit takes place. I'm not denying it. Right. But the fact of the matter is, it's like, it's kind of hurtful for me as a Haitian man, where we don't come from that, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I understand it's all time. I've been doing my research. Right. 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 So, uh, I'm not ignorant to the fact, but the, the issue is like, you know, I'm trying to break that, 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 that curse as far as what the pushing that, that, that stereotype of women. Well, well, listen, listen, the same thing. I'm just going to call, I'm so called African American. Everybody and their mama got a stereotype about us. Niggas is lazy, this and that. Everybody, everybody love to dump down on black Americans, even the rest of the people on that side. A lot of, lot of Caribbeans don't like us. A lot of Haitians don't like us. A lot of Hispanics definitely don't like us. Those Morenos are dirty. They uh, uh, Moreno stupido. Moreno lazy. Moreno this and that. Moreno payload model. We know all about that. I know me and my family don't come from that. But I know a lot of Negroes that do fall into those stereotypes. Give me the Deuteronomy 28, 15. These, these are the curses that are in the scriptures. What what they say? All, all, all Judites is crackheads, right? The niggas is crackheads. I ain't never smoked the damn crack in my life. I sold it, but I never smoked it. You know what I'm saying? They say we thugs, we this, we that. So I know a lot of times you have stereotypes about different groups of people that may not be true for a certain portion of that people. But that curse is on that people. I know a lot of niggas that's what crack, was crackheads. I know a lot of niggas that are thugs. I know a lot of niggas that are cutthroat and devious and low down and no goddamn good. I know a lot of ratchet chicks that was welfare chicks in the hood. Sitting up just having been. The stereotypes, we know a lot. But I knew the working girls too. I knew the chicks that got married and only had babies by that one man they got married to. So that was not the, the that was not the point for every African American, so-called African American, the tribe of Judah. I know that that's my tribe. I hear the stereotypes on my tribe, and I say all the time, that's not all of us, but that's how it's put out there. And it is a large portion of us that need to come out of those curses. That's all we say. Right. We know it's not all of us, but the ones of our people that are in those curses, they gotta come out. Ah. It came from many places. It depends on what you're talking about. It's really no one place of the history of voodoo. 
Voodoo came from, but uh, black magic came from different places. You can go all the way back to Egypt, you can go all the way back to ancient Babylon. Right, well, it depends on where you want to go. So the origin of it, because I feel like with history, they try to, they try to put... They don't, the, the they, origin, hold let me say this. Come on, bro, let me talk, my nigga. But, they, they, they try to portray like, like Haitians. No, 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 we, we know y'all not Haitian spirit. None of them names they put on y'all, y'all are the Levites of the nation of Israel. And we're not saying necessarily that, you know, or even society that you started it, it's just you, a lot of your people were heavily into it. And it's, it, it knows it's, it's in pop culture and everything. But now, are we saying, we're not saying all of our Levite brothers and sisters are like that. With a large portion of that's why the scriptures say, I'm gonna turn your blessing into a curse. Right. Because what you went from being, get that again, Malachi 2. I want to hear more about that. What's, what's you went you went from being those righteous priests of the most high, and throughout the years you got destroyed. My question is, why, when you why, was conquered throughout different periods of history, why, you why, start going into the the uh, of the other nations. You? I'm gonna show you. Read what you got, brother. Matter of fact, give me Psalms 105 and um, 35, I believe it is. Where it says we were mingled among the heathen. Psalms 105 36. That's what it is. Yeah, but we didn't go to this one though. Say it again. We Hold on, we're gonna get to that. Yeah. All right, go to uh because we got uh sidetracked with the uh black magic or the voodoo. Right. <laughs> right, Ogun, right. Yeah. Yeah. Psalms 105 36. Read. Psalms chapter 105, verse 36. He smote also all the firstborn in their land. I want, um, they were mingled amongst the heathen and learned their ways. Find that one for me. All right. What happened is with our people, a lot of times we went and we fell amongst other nations and we started picking up their customs from the time of the Babylonians. The Babylonians are ancient Africans. All right. So-called ancient Africans. They would be Ethiopians today. But we fell and we went into Babylon. We picked up some of their ways. We fell to the Persians and the Medes, we picked up some of their ways. We fell to the Greeks and the Romans, we picked, so throughout different periods of history, we start picking up the customs of the other nations. All right, we don't have to necessarily say it started from the Haitians, they picked up these customs from their oppressors, but they kept them, and they rep they didn't repent and change their ways, so they got caught up into it. Read, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 106, verse 35. But we're mingled among the heathen. That's what happened with our people. We were mingled amongst the white men and the other nations. Good. And learned their work. We learned their works. We start following their ways. So we don't have to argue about if uh, we're not saying whether the so-called Haitians are the originators of voodoo, but the curse has been put on them so bad. That's almost kind of how society stereotypes them. But that goes back to Malachi too, because the Lord said he was going to do that to them. He was going to make the curse that bad. All right, go ahead. And they served their idols. Yeah, the, the way they talk about Negroes. You would think Negroes came up with crack. But we didn't. The white man came up with crack in his laboratories. Right. But they'll say that they're, 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 blame, they're blaming on the black man. All right, come on. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. What said? And they served their idols. They served their idols, go ahead. Which were a snare unto them. Which was a snare unto us. Once we start following the ways of the white man and the other nations, it became a snare unto us. We got trapped up into it and we start following it throughout the generations. A lot of our people, most of our people, what they gonna do two weeks from now? They gonna celebrate that Thanksgiving. All right, six, seven weeks from now, they gonna put that tree in their house. That's a demonic, uh, that's, de um, de that's a demonic custom and witchcraft within itself. That tree in your house represents Nimrod. That's idol worship. That's satanic. The Lord said, don't even bring the tree into your home. Bring it out. That turkey represents the slaughtering and the sacrificing of hundreds of thousands and millions of Native American Indians for the white man to get this land. That Thanksgiving is a mass sacrifice. That's all it is. It's a mass bloody sacrifice. But a lot of us, our people, they're going to sit down and eat that Thanksgiving turkey and partake of it. And be in that demonic spirit. Hermano, what happened with you, Hermano? ¿Qué pasó? That's all I have to say? <laughs> well, we got to say more than that, but you're on point. 
All right, you on point, you on point, all right? You say Yahshua HaMashiach Adon. All right, in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, we say Yahawashai HaMashiach Adon. All right, come your shout. All right, all right, so, all right. Hermano is, he's almost there. All right, go ahead, brother. Right. You have to be in this world. Right. Well, I, I mean, I do this. I've been doing this almost thirty years. Ah. I originally started in New York. I only been out here in California for like the last eleven years, but. I'm back and forth in California. I still go back to New York. I just came back from New York. I still got back to New York. I teach in Times Square. I teach downtown Brooklyn. I teach on 34th Street, Errol Square right. in New York. Um, I teach everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I go solo from state to state, like my man Method Man. But, you know, it's not so much of what made us come to California. You know, some a lot of us brothers migrated here. We moved here, and we just start teaching here. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I go back. You know, I go back home all the time. I go back and forth to New York all the time. Right. You know, that's my home city. But I go everywhere now. We teach everywhere. But give me about Matthew 24, 14. But the Lord told us to do that. He said, teach it from Hollywood to Times Square and everywhere in between. So, you know, I might be in Times Square one Sabbath, another Saturday, I'm out here in Hollywood. You know, wherever the Spirit lead me. I get on that plane and wherever I end up, that's what the Lord want me teaching. Read, brother. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 14. Go ahead. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Yeah, this thing got to go all over, man. International. Right, go ahead. For a witness. For a witness, go ahead. Unto all nations. To all nations, go ahead. And then shall the end come. See, that's so we got, we teach a little bit of everywhere. Like I said, I might be here one day. Next week, I could be in New York. The week after that, I'll be in Miami. Week after that, I'll be in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the spirit, you know, I didn't taught in a lot of the major cities here in the United States. You know, so, you know, all praise to the Most High Yahweh Now, this year, Most High will, I'm going to start taking it international. The UK, Puerto Rico, Hawaii, I got a few uh, countries on the map to get to reach this word to our people in different places. But, you know, this word got to go out, man. Our people are all over. We got brothers in Haiti. You know what I'm saying? We got brothers teaching in Haiti. Yeah, we got brothers over there teaching in Haiti. I got a brother, uh, one of my brothers I'm, I'm pretty close to. He, yeah, we got information for you. Um, somebody give him a flyer out of the duffel bag. Um, right there. It's in the duffel bag. Under. I'm a writer. You're a screenwriter, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, do that, brother. Do that. You know what I'm saying? Handle your business, you know? Keep in touch and, and uh, hit us up. We got classes you can tune into just to, you know, just to edify yourself and, you know, uh, get the word and see what you think. I got questions. Yeah, man, you you you, you got to have questions, man. Questions. You need to, and your questions have to be answered. You know what I'm saying? Your questions got to be answered. And um, somebody give them, uh, give them a, a extra communication, a Facebook, Instagram, something. Give them some more than what's on the flyer. All right, so you know we're gonna continue on with this good word, showing you that the Most High is is not playing, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, and um, that's what we gotta do. Give me Isaiah one sixteen, so that we got a reason with this thing. You know, we gotta let our people know the curses that we are under, but we can get out of those curses. And we all from Judah. Give me um Isaiah one and three real quick before we get that. Give me Isaiah one and three. The whole body, man, from Judah to so called Negro. All the way down to Issachar, man, is jacked up. All right, we all jacked up as a nation, man. From Judah on down. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3 real quick. Read that, brother. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Go ahead. The ox know of his owner. The ox know of his owner. Go ahead. And the ass his master's crib. And the ass knows his master's crib. Go ahead. But Israel does not know. I said Israel doth not know. Come on. My people does not consider. They don't consider, man. You don't know and you don't want to know. All right, you don't give a damn, right? Come on. Our sinful nation. Ah, sinful nation. Good. And people laden with iniquity. People laden with iniquity. The Lord said, look, man, you got so much sin on you, you laden with it, man. You're laden with iniquity. Good. A seed of evil doing. What? 
Seed of evil doers. Seed of evil doers. That's cold. Right? The Lord said, You are seed of evil doers. Right? right? Come on. Children that are corruptors. What did the Lord say? Children that are corruptors. Children that are corruptors. All right. All right, brother. Shalom. Please stop. All right, brother. Keep it up. Remember, you're a Levite. Tribe of Levi, nation of Israel. All right, brother. Shalom. Let's do a movie about this truth. All right. All right. Go ahead. They have forsaken the Lord. What Lord say? They have forsaken the Lord. Our people have forsaken the Lord, man. That's why the scriptures say you are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Right? Go ahead. The, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. Go ahead. They are gone away backwards. Why should ye be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. Listen, why should I punish you anymore? When all you're going to do is rebel more and more. All right, why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. Right. All right, that's what you're going to do. You're going to revolt more and more. All right, that's what you're going to do. You're going to be evil and wicked and hateful towards one another. So the more the Lord punish you, the more you'll be evil. All right, you got the... the, the, uh, the the young ratchet black woman want to pull out her damn knife on me. You people are crazy, man. Evil as hell, man. Evil as hell. Want to come up here and twerk in front of us. Evil. But that's what the Lord, that's what the Lord said. You're going to be judged, man. Give me that scripture where um, she's going to be trotting down as the Maya of the street. All right. She's going to be trotting down as the Maya of the street. What do you say, Caesar? Huh? Yo, what? Yeah, no, you're Caesar Borgias. Come up here. Yeah, come up here. You look like this picture down here. Yo, come over here. All right, come over here. All right, yeah, you look like this picture. What's your nationality? Nanya, okay. Nanya is, is your nationality, okay. That means so-called white man that don't want to say who who he really is. But we already know who you are. What up? All right, what up, all right? Yeah, so let me show you what the Lord said. Right. Now, Caesar recognizes Caesar. Right. Caesar recognizes Caesar. Caesar Borges, second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. All right, Caesar recognized Caesar. All right, that man looked like the Caesar. But anyway, let's continue with the good word of the Lord, all right? You got it? Read, read that, brother. Micah chapter 7, verse 10. Then she that is mine enemy. She that is mine enemy. A lot of you so-called black women, you enemies to Christ, man. And you enemies to the men of your nation. You see them, sis, they want to twerk while the white man's playing his rock and roll. But then want to pull a knife out on us. You're, you're, a, twerk, you're a twerk for a uh, damn mega death and death metal but you want to put a knife on your own brothers. You see how evil, you see how destroyed our people are? And if I was that dude I used to be, that knife would have been down your throat. And I dare you to go get whoever the hell you gonna get. Cause them niggas gonna get it worse for having your ratchet ass out here like that. They gonna get it worse for having you out here like that. All right, yeah man, a lot of our people are evil man. Evil, you wanna twerk and dance and throw it all up in the air for mega death and death metal and kiss and ZZ top. But when it comes to the men of the Lord, we try to tell you, sis, don't be out here shaking your body like that. Sis, have some dignity for you. And we get a knife pulled on us. Right. We get your ratchet ass blood or crip or whatever the hell you banging. We get your, your, your gang banging knife pulled on us. All right, you gonna go get Donnie and Ray Ray and the rest of the G's on us. Come on, man. For us trying to tell you to repent and keep the commandment. But we don't give a damn because we don't fear man. We fear the most high in your house shop. So we don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? And your knife should have been down your goddamn throat, huh? It cut off. Okay, it should have been down your throat for your evil and wickedness, man. Are you making it like I do a side work? Like, you know what I'm It's supposed to go on its own. I don't know why it's not turning. If not, just do up and down. It's okay. All right, we don't have to put it on YouTube or not. I'll figure it out. But anyway, yeah, man. That's the problem with our people. You black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, you don't want to repent and keep the commandments. Right.
That's the problem. Read what you got. Mike is seven and ten. Then got it. it went to the sound. Okay, yeah, right. Good. Then she, that is my enemy. Yeah, a lot of you, a lot of you are enemies, man. You're enemies to Christ and you're enemies to this Bible. All right, go ahead. Shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? It said, Shame shall cover her that said unto thee, Where is the Lord thy God? Go ahead. Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the street. The Lord said his eyes is going to behold her, and now she's going to be trodden down like the mire of the street. That's cold, man. That's how you're going to be. Right, yes, you are the Maya of the street. You already the Maya of the street. You ain't even got to be trotting down. Your ass is already trotting down, Esau. All right, but anyway, the Lord said, now shall she be trotting down as the Maya of the street. That's how you're going to be, man. The Lord going to kill you in that day. And I got to reiterate that, man. You're going you to twerk and dance and bounce and shake for the damn mega death. The mosh pit. You'd, you'd have been at um, Travis Scott concert and got crushed to death. Right? But you'll pull a knife out on the men of the Lord. Right. You see how evil our people are, man? Give me Sirach again. Give me Sirach 2625 again. These women are shameless, man. Damn shit. That's the hatred you have for your own people. But you are, when it when it cut it away, man, I twerk it. I put my dang down and reverse it. Like Missy Elliott. For Esau, for master. But when it comes to my own brothers trying to tell me righteousness and the truth and trying to tell me to repent and keep the commandments, oh, I want to pull out my, my crypt switchblade on them. All right, read what you got, brother. Sorry, what? Right, chapter 26, verse 25. A shameless woman. A shameless woman God, shall be counted as a dog. A lot of you women, man, you counted as dogs, man. I didn't say it. The Lord said that's the Bible. You can get mad. You can get offended. You can take it personal. But the Lord said that. Read it again. A shameless woman, a shameless woman, go ahead, shall be counted as a dog. The Lord said, you're going to be counted as a dog, man. And we all know what a female dog is. The Lord said, a shameless woman going to be counted as a dog. Go ahead. But she that is shameful, but she that is shameful, come on, will fear the Lord. Or what? Will fear the Lord. Let's have fear for the Lord, man. A righteous woman will fear the Lord. She's not going to be out here gallivanting and gatting abroad. She's not going to be out here disrespecting men. She's not going to be out here trying to fight and pull out a knife on a man. She's not going to be out here doing that. She's going to be keeping the commandments of the Lord in righteousness, humble, in her place with humility, shamefaced, but not out here. You women are just wild, man. You wild. That's why the Lord going to destroy two-thirds of you, man. The Lord going to destroy two-thirds of the women of our nation because you evil, man. Read what you got. Galatians chapter 4 verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy? The Lord said, am I therefore become your enemy? Go ahead. Because I tell you the truth. Because what? Because I tell you the truth. See that? Do we become your enemy because we tell you the truth? Damn. You going, you going to twerk for the white man, but then pull out a knife for your brothers. You know what I'm saying? Now, now listen, imagine, imagine if I would have get, shut him up. Imagine, if, imagine if I would have engaged that sister, right? Shut him up. Imagine if I would have engaged that sister, and that sister would have just and that sister would have cut me, man. Over over what? Over the Bible? Over you being rebuked? Now I know I know the answer to that, because our people have been killed. You got disciples and teachers that were killed for less, for less than that. But that shows you how evil the people are against the word of the Lord, man. How evil they are, man. Look, John the Baptist got beheaded. Because he rebuked Pilate uh, about uh, uh, adultery. He got his head chopped off. He said, yo, you're not supposed to sleep with another man's wife. And they chopped his head off. Here, I'm telling these sisters, don't shake your behind out in the street. Don't be out here acting all ratchet and wild and crazy. And what happened? They want to pull out knives on the men of the Lord. Right. See that? And like I said, that knife would have went down your damn throat if we were the men we used to be. But nah, we don't want to do that to our sisters. We don't want to say, we say, listen, you know what? Chill out, sis. As long as you don't try to come and actually try to hurt one of us, chill out. Just keep it moving down the block. All right, since you want to twerk for Esau and his, his, his heavy metal, but you want to be against the men of the Lord for teaching his gospel. It's a damn shame, man. It's a damn shame. But you know what? 
Like the old saying goes, every dog has its day. Every dog has its day. Every, every one of our people that's evil and wicked as hell, every one of our people that's sellouts and traitors, every one of our people, give me a Proverbs 17, 15. Every one of our people that want to smooch up to the enemy, you want to smooch up to the enemy, but you want to be against the servants, the Lord got a day of death for you. Death and destruction is coming to all the evil of our people. All of you sellouts, all of you self-hating Negroes, all of you rape, rob, and murder Negroes to each other. You only do that to each other. That dude on, um, that dude, that dude was on Willie D. That dude was on Willie D and he said it, whoever that brother was. And that brother said, listen, man, I don't be around a lot of black people. And Willie D was like, why not? Because he said, listen, my own people are the ones that's most likely to rob me, shoot me, kill me, stab me, beat me up. He said, I forget the brother's name, he's a rapper. A lot of these niggas I never heard of, but he's some kind of rapper that's known. And he told Willie D, so Willie D was like, what, you wanna be around? He's like, no, I don't wanna be around the white people either. He said, I'm not, I'm not saying I wanna be around the white people, but he said, listen, I, I don't wanna be around my own people because them the niggas that's gonna set you up. They the ones that's gonna get you. See that? And the sad part about it is, the sad thing about that is, that brother's right, man. That brother's 100% right about that. He don't wanna be around his own people because a lot of times, it's your own people that's gonna do evil to you, man. It's your own people. That's the sad part about it. But guess what? We're gonna be lifted from these curses. These curses are about to come off us as a nation of people. That's what the Lord, that's what the Holy Bible. Put your hold on. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 15. He that justified the wicked, he that justified the wicked, did it. And he that condemneth the just, and he that condemneth the just. Come on. Even they both. Even they what? Even they both. Lord said, even they both. Come on. Are abomination. Lord said, they both are an abomination, man. Both of them. He that justified the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. Now right, give me a uh, link that up with Isaiah 5 and 20. That's how people are. Our people are evil as hell, man. They're evil and wicked as hell. And they take up for the enemy more than they'll take up for their own people. That's why two-thirds of you going to die. Two-thirds of, two of you going to get death and destruction. That's saith the Lord. That's saith the Holy Bible. Here what you got, brother. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Whoa! Unto them that call evil good, Lord said, Whoa! Unto them that call evil them that call evil good, good, and good evil, and what, and good evil, that the Lord said, woe well unto them that call evil good, and good evil, good, that put darkness for light, and what, that put darkness for light, that put darkness for light, good, and light for darkness, and light for darkness, the Lord said, you put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that's what our people do, man, because you're evil, you're a traitor, man, and a lot of our people, you're going to get destroyed for being a traitor. You're going to get death and destruction for being a traitor. Right, God? That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That do what? That put bitter for sweet. Put bitter for sweet, God. And sweet for bitter. And they put sweet for bitter. That's what our people do, man. They will ride with the enemy against their own people. They will ride out with the damn enemy and come against their own brother and sister. And that's why a lot of you gonna get deaf, man. A lot of you, you gonna be destroyed. You gonna be right along with the enemy and you gonna be destroyed, right? That's what's gonna happen to you. Give me a uh, Jeremiah, what you got? Great. Verse 24. Therefore, as the fire devours the stubble, and the flame consumes the church. I said, just like the fire consumes the stubble, and the flame consumes the child, then, so their root shall be rotten. So, so their root shall be rotten. So their root shall be rotten. Your eyes gonna get burned up just like the child. Yeah. And their blossoms shall go up as dust. What? And their blossoms shall go up as dust. The Lord said their blossom shall go up as dust. Yeah. 
because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts. Cast away the law of the Lord of hosts. You don't care about the laws of the Most High. Because part of the laws of the Most High is what? To love your neighbor as you love yourself. If you love your neighbor, you're not going to talk to the damn white man that would have that stabbed your brother. Like God. And despise the word of the Holy One. And what? And despise the word of the Holy One. And despise, they despise the word of the Holy One of Israel. You hate the Bible. So that's why two thirds of you going to die, man. Two thirds of you going to die. Give me Jeremiah 9. Jeremiah 9 and start at 23. Jeremiah 9, I believe it's 23. That's why a lot of you going to die, man. Simple as that. You're going to die in nuclear fire. You're going to die in these race wars. You're going to die in the concentration camps. You're going to die from plagues and diseases. That's why a lot of you going to get death. Read. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23. Thus said the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. The Lord said, don't let the wise man glory in his wisdom. A lot of you got degrees and certain credentials in this society, but guess what? That still can't beat the words of God. Right, God? Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Yeah. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Or let the rich man glory in his riches. Yeah. But let him that glory and glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, for the Lord. Behold, the day has come, said the Lord, that I will punish all them which are circumcised. Lord said, the day is going to come when I will punish all them which are circumcised. Then with the uncircumcised. With who? With the uncircumcised. Lord said, the day is going to come and will punish all the circumcised with the uncircumcised. Neither Israel and the other nations. All right, God. Egypt and Judah. The Lord said, Egypt and Judah. So a lot of my people, you want to be with the white man, you're going to be destroyed with the white man. You want to be with the African and the Arab and the Chinese and the Japanese, and you want to be a melting pot of nations, you're going to die with them. Simple as that, you're going to die with them. Egypt with Judah. Now, come on. And Edom. And who? And Edom. And Edom, that so-called white man that you love so goddamn much. That devil that the Bible speaks of, that you love so much, you're going to be destroyed with him too. Yeah, with him too. Why right God? And the children of Ammon. And who? And the children of Ammon. And the children of Ammon. You're going to be destroyed with the children of Ammon also. Right, come on. And Moab. And who? And Moab. And Moab. All these nations. Japanese, Chinese, Edom, so-called white men. Egypt. You niggas love that Egyptology. You niggas love ancient Kemet. You're going to be destroyed right along with it. Good. And all that are in the utmost corners. And what? And all that are in the utmost corners. All that are in the, all the uttermost parts of the earth. Because what was, what was the curse that was put on the children of Israel? The curse that was put on the children of Israel is we would be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. We would be in the uttermost parts of the earth. So the Lord said that day is coming with all of our people. You want to be joined to these heathens? You're going to die with the Lord with these heathens. You're going to be destroyed by the Lord with these heathens for being joined in with them. And especially when you join with them against your own people. Yeah. That dwell in the wilderness. What? That dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised. All these nations are uncircumcised. Like they're spiritually uncircumcised. Right? And all Uncircumcised in a heart, meaning a mind. You go right along, you go right along with this. Right. The hell with them. See, that's all her. Alright? That's what you get for making mockery. Alright? And look, she put a middle finger up that that's good for your ass. Good for your dumb ass. Now you dropped your glasses, stupid. And I think somebody stepped on them and crushed them. See, that's what she gets for throwing her middle finger up at Most are still judging their eyes in the midst of the confusion. Come here, Shadow. 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 Come here, Shadow.
against the truth, but for the truth. You're not going to stop the gospel, man. Give me our Revelation 10 and 7. Revelation 10 and 7. You ain't going to stop the gospel. Whether you like it, understand it, accept it, believe it or not. This word is still cut through all the demons in the midst of the confusion. All right, so whoever got it, read it. Revelation 10 and 7. When he shall begin the sound, the mystery of God shall be finished. Go ahead. As he hath declared to his servant the prophet. As what? As he hath declared to his servants the prophet. As he hath declared unto his servants the prophets. So the mystery of the Most High is going to be finished. This word is going to go out to all of our brothers and sisters that are supposed to go out to word is going to go out. Go ahead. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, give me the little book. And he said unto me, take it and eat it up. He said, take the little book and eat it up. Meaning, mean study it. Get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of it. Learn it. Get the mysteries of it. He said, take the little book and eat it up. Go ahead. And it shall make thy belly bitter. It's going to make your belly bitter. Go ahead. But it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. It's going to be in your mouth sweet as honey, man. That's how this Bible is. The Bible is bittersweet. The curses are the bitter part. All right. The blessings and the kingdom... That's the sweet part. But the Lord said it's going to be in your belly bitter, but it's going to make your mouth sweet as honey. All right, come on. And I took the little book out of the angel's hands and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, thou must prophesy again. And that's what we're doing. The angel told John that thou must prophesy again. That's what the angel told John. Thou must prophesy again. Go ahead. Before many people. For many people. Right? Meaning different nations. Go ahead. And nations. And nations. Go ahead. And tongues. And tongues. Go ahead. And king. The Lord said in the last days you're going to prophesy before many people. Like a lot of times we come out and we teach in the places that are like melting pots. Where there's a different, a different group and nations of people. So that's what we do. We come out and we teach before the people. All right, go ahead. Chapter 11. Pass it on that. So the Lord said we would prophesy again before many nations and tongues and kings and people. And that's what we're doing. So the Lord told us, listen, this gospel was going to go out to all the people, whether you like it, understand, accept it, believe it or not. All right, and it's nothing you could do against the word. All right, there's nothing you can do to stop the most our word. Give me uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 2. I believe it is 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. There's nothing you can do against the word of the Lord. The word going to be taught whether you like it, understand it, accept it, believe it or not. All right, read that, brother. 2 Timothy 4, verse 2. Preach the word. What the Lord said? Preach the word. The Lord said, preach the word. Come on. Be instant. Instant. Be instant. In season. Go ahead. Out of season and out of season, God. Reprove. What the Lord said? Reprove. Reprove. The Lord said, still come out and reprove, God. Rebuke and rebuke, God. Exhort with all our suffering. And that, the Lord said, encourage. Exhort means to encourage. 
The Lord said it covers with all long suffering and doctrine. Still preach the word. Uh, whether they like it or not, except to believe it or not. Then, for the time will come when they will not endure sound death. Lord said the time is going to come where they're not going to endure sound doctrine. All right, they're not going to listen. They're not going to listen to the word. They're not going to endure sound doctrine. Good. But after their own life, shall they heap to themselves teachers, have an itching ear. Lord said after their own lust, they're going to heap to themselves teachers, have an itching ear. A lot of you want to hear that the white man is going to be saved. A lot of you want to hear that the word is for everybody. A lot of you want to hear that we're all going to be together in the kingdom. But no, the Lord said you're going to heap to yourself teachers having itching ears. A lot of you don't want Esau to be the so-called white man. You don't want, you don't want Esau. A lot of you don't want, you don't want Esau to be the white man. Because you know the judgments that's going to come on Esau according to the scriptures. So you don't want that. So you're going to heap to yourself teachers having itching ears. A lot of you don't want to keep the dietary laws. So because you don't want to keep the God telling you, Lord, you're going to listen to somebody that's saying, we're not under the law anymore. We're under grace. But what is grace? Grace is not an excuse to not keep the law. All right? So a lot of you, you don't want to hear the true gospel of the Most High. So you're going to be judged. Give me uh, Proverbs 17 to 9. Get the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 9. A lot of you don't want to hear the gospel, and that's why you're going to be destroyed. Two-thirds of you are going to be destroyed, along with the white man and the other nations. Right? Read that, Proverbs 17 and 9. Proverbs 17, verse 9. He that covereth a transgression. Uh, 11, so like it. Verse 11. An evil man seeketh only rebellion. The Lord said, an evil man seeketh only rebellion. Yes. Therefore, a cruel gospel. Therefore, a cruel messenger, a deaf angel. The Lord said, therefore, a cruel messenger, God, shall be sent against her. The Lord said, a cruel messenger is going to be sent against her. Read it one more time. Proverbs 17 and 11. An evil man seeketh only rebellion. An evil man seeketh only rebellion. That's a problem with America. America is a rebellious society. You don't want to do what God said. You got to put homosexuality and lesbianism in everything. Every goddamn thing to try to destroy the black, Hispanic, and Native American Indian man. You're a rebellious society. Right? Come on. Therefore, a cruel messenger. Therefore, a cruel messenger. Who is that cruel messenger? A deaf angel. Therefore, a cruel messenger, God, shall be sent against him. Shall what? Be sent against him. I said a cruel messenger is going to be sent against him. Because an evil man seeketh only rebellion. You seek to rebel against the Heavenly Father because you're wicked as hell, man. You're evil and you're wicked as hell. Therefore, a cruel messenger is going to be sent against them. A deaf angel, an angel of death is going to be sent against you because you're an evil man. You're an evil woman. You hate righteousness. You love wickedness and evil. You hate the truth. All right, but well, up here, we're going to teach the gospel. We're going to teach, thus saith the Lord. Give me uh, Amos 5.15. No, uh, Hosea 5.15. Give me Hosea 5.15. They didn't learn from the Travis Scott concert. All right, they didn't learn. But the most high will teach them a lesson. All right, read what you got, brother. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place. Oh, Amos, Amos 5.15. That's how you got it. Amos 5 verse 13. Hate the evil. What the Lord said? Hate the evil. The Lord said, hate the evil. And we hate evil. Right? Go ahead. And love the good. And do what? And love the good. And love the good. Hate the evil and love the good, the Lord said. So you're supposed to hate evil, man. The Bible says clearly, give me that in Psalms 97 and 10. Psalms chapter 97 and verse 10. The Lord said clearly to hate the evil. All right, read that again. Amos 5 and 10. Hate 
the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. The Lord said he will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Psalms 97 and 10. Psalm 97 verse 10. Ye that love the Lord. Ye that love the Lord. The only way for you to love the Lord is for this. The only way for you to peacefully coexist with your brother and love the Lord is this. Read it again. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. Lord say ye that love him hate evil. And that's why we, we hate evil. We hate this world, man. All right, and this world is going to be judged by the most high. Read it again, brother. Ye that love the Lord. So if you love the Lord, ye that love the Lord, go ahead. Hey, evil. The Lord said, hey, evil. The Lord said, hate evil, man. If you love him, then you hate evil. You go against this wickedness, against these wicked ways of this society. Love the Lord and hate evil. Because what? What's going to happen to the society? It's going to be destroyed. And why is this society going to be destroyed? Because it's an evil kingdom. Give me that in Amos. Amos 9 and 8. Link that up. Amos chapter 9 verse 8. Hate the evil and love the good. Ye that love the Lord, hate evil. All right, read that, brother. Amos chapter 9 verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful king. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. God. And I will destroy it, Lord said, and I will destroy it. I will destroy it, God, from off the face of the earth. The Lord said he's going to destroy this kingdom from off the face of the earth. America's going to be burned up in nuclear fire. You're going to be destroyed. Burned up in nuclear fire. Destruction. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Holy Bible. Come on. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, Lord said. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. The Lord said, in saving, in that burning and destruction, somebody's going to be saved. In saving, that I will not destroy the house of Jacob. Esau is a demon man. Like the man taking off his shirt, ripping his shirt. Jacob saith the Lord. Come on. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel. Lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel, the Lord said. The Lord has to go, we got to go through a sifting process. A sifting process because why? You so-called black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian that don't want to keep these laws, you got to be moved out of the way. You got to be moved out of the way. All right, come on. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is sifted in a seed. It's like corn is sifted in a seed. I will command and I will sift out the house of Israel like corn is sifted in a seed. Go ahead. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Yet the least grain is not going to fall upon the earth. Every Israelite that the Most High intends to save is going to be saved. The least grain is not going to fall on the earth.